Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? What's the going zones is? It's your boy, the bad wolf. The foreign national, born natural. <laughs> oh, yeah. Had to swagger jack that a little bit from uh, A6. You know, I got to flip it up a little bit, you know, rough it up, make a little something different. All right. So let's see what we got here. Today we are going to be talking about the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. Oh, yes. Now, normally I try to stay away from the, the V word, you know, because uh, they'd be sweating you. But I've seen a lot more doctors and whatever else have been going a little easier on people using said word. So... We're going to see how long the video will stay up. Um, all right. So that being said, we're also going to share the screen, if you know what I mean. So check it out. Okay. So we are on the Department of Justice. Love the Department of Justice. Thank you guys for what you do for holding America down out there. America. OK, it's also a good place for you to file a complaint against said officers or law enforcement or postal or whatever else. Let them know. You can also report cyber fraud, elder fraud, government fraud. OK, so what does this say here? The V Injury Compensation Program. The National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act of 1986, as amended, created a unique mechanism for compensation, compensating persons injured by vaccinations. The National Injury Compensation Program, VICP, okay, program, 42 USC 300AA-10 uh, space ET space SEQ, is an alternative to the traditional products Liable liability and medical malpractice litigation for person injured by their recipient of one or more of the standard childhood vaccines. Now, this, the VICP, is designed to encourage vaccination by providing a streamlined system for compensation in rare instances where injury results from that vaccination. Over the past 35 years, they have been successful in providing less adverse to less expensive and less time-consuming systems of recovery than traditional tort systems that can govern medical malpractices, personal injury, and product liability cases. So they just told you, other than going through them, you can do a tort on these systems, on these doctors, on these hospitals, on these municipalities, okay? Personal injury, so that means you're you've been personally damaged. You can go after these people in their per private or public statuses. Almost ten thousand people have been paid up to forty five billion dollars since nineteen eighty eight. Now, here's where we go. We get it gets good. Individuals, okay, so everybody who believe they have been injured by a covered vaccine can file a claim against the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services. So they're in the U.S. court of what? Federal claims. Seeking compensation from the Vaccine Trust Fund. Boom! Okay, sorry, I lost it there. So once again, telling you guys, you have to go after these these people who have done things, fraud, and have hurt you under uh, what do they call it? Adverse health effects. Okay, they just told you you can go after them in torts, you go after them for malpractice, personal injury, product liability cases. That means any of you guys. If you've taken the the jab jab, you've suffered, you lost somebody, 
you know, whatever else it is. And I've seen the videos. It's horrifying. Okay. You know, add, look at, look up adverse health, um, uh, 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 what, uh, effects. Okay. Let me see if, uh, One second. Of course, now I'm looking for it. Can't find it. Any old ways. All right. So, yeah, you can look that up. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, I can't find the ex oh, there it is. Okay, so when you're looking this stuff up, it's called the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. That's what they call it. Even if you die or you have any form of event, that's what it's called. That's how they hide the information. You can go to vaers.hhs.gov and see what the data is. Okay. I'm actually looking on it right now. You can download the data sheet or just look at the... Th yeah, okay, I'm going to go in. Yeah, I just want to see the report. Or um, they just send you all over the place. I just want to see the... Uh, Let's see the, the guide. Where's the book? <laughs> they give you a guide so that you can interpret the data the way they want you to interpret. I just want to see the data. Is this the data? Okay, so yes, yeah, so I'm doing so. Downloading the VAERS data use guide. Let's see if that's it. No, it's not the full one. Okay, so it looks like I'm on the data sets, 2003, the zip file, data file, symptoms file, and vaccine file. Wow, they really make you have to dig through to find this. Let me see the...
or you got to be specific. Okay. One more second, guys. Wow. I had to pull the raw data, but it's... <laughs> it's got every state. How much the person took of their shot. Who... who which company... Prov oh, man. I don't even have time to go through all this. So if you want, that's what you do, guys. Pull down all the files from V-A-E-R-S um, dot H-H-S dot G-O-V. And that'll tell you all you need to know. So anyway, I digress. Let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. So individuals who believe that they have been injured by any of this can file a claim against the Secretary of Department of Health and Human Services in federal court um, for the Vaccine Trust Fund. Civil Division tort branch attorneys in the, U in the Office of the Vaccine Litigation defend HHS against claims filed under the VICP and ensure that fair compensation is awarded in every case that meets its criteria. Eligibility can recover compensation from the... Okay, you can also recover attorney fees, costs, Anything filed in good faith and with a reasonable basis will be covered. Um, the V that are covered under the program include those that protect against diphtheria, tinnitus, pertussis, whooping cough, measles, mumps, rubella, German measles, polio, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, varicella or chicken pox, Hemophilus, influenza, type B, rotavirus, pneumococcal, influenza, seasonal flu, meningococcal, and human papilloma virus. So that would be HPV. Okay. A significant positive result of the program is that that costly litigation against drug manufacturers and healthcare professionals who administer vaccines has subsequently decreased. So that means, guys, if I'm if educational information only, if I'm interpreting this sentence correctly, that means that you can go after the healthcare providers and the ones who administer the vaccines and the manufacturers. But what they're doing is because this program. Those people have been complaining, oh, they're suing us for crap that they that we gave them that we knew was bad in some situations. So stop government, make them stop. So then the government's like, okay, we got it, which means it's our tax dollars we're being paid for for their BS. There it is. Although an individual who is dissatisfied with the court's final judgment has the option to file a lawsuit in state or federal court. Few lawsuits have been filed since the program began. There it is. You guys are not getting your money. The supply of vaccines in the United States has stabilized and development of new ones has markedly increased. For more information about the VICP, visit Health Services Administration's VICP website. So there it is. 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 All right, guys. Once again, your boy, the wolf, out here digging up more dirt to dish. Let me get back to my. All 
All right, all right. So that is it. I had a whole bunch of things going on. It wouldn't let me click. Clickety clack, clickety clack. So that's it, guys. If those things um, pertain to you. then I highly suggest you use the information as you so see fit. That is it. We got more videos coming up because I got lots of goodies in the think tank. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. You know what to do on the way out. Not, not, just support your boy. If you're watching this and you found this entertainment to be informational, you want me to keep doing this, let's get going. Or get ready to rumble, whatever. I mean, if I have to fight you for a, a, a click and a thumbs up, man, let's let's just get it on. All right, <laughs> all right. Talk to you later. Wolf's out. Woo.